This is a Stop the Bleed Canada training program. Uh, we're going to demonstrate how to stop catastrophic, life-threatening bleeding using a military-style tourniquet and also using wound packing techniques. And this is a kind of a graphic demonstration. We want to let you know there is theatrical blood used here. It's really pretty realistic. So we just showed up on site. We can see we have a, a gushing wound here. What would happen? Okay, so we have our gloves on and we would put ah, the military tourniquet on um, between the heart and the wound. We tighten it as much as we can, like that, and then using this windlass, and turn it. Why is this important to know how to do? We're talking about life-threatening, catastrophic bleeding, the kind of bleeding that will kill somebody in two to five minutes. After Sandy Hook uh, Elementary School shooting in Newtown, uh, and that's really the genesis of the Stop the Bleed movement, we now know what we should have figured out a long time ago. You can lose a limb and still live. You can't lose blood. They also teach how to treat high blood loss wounds where a tourniquet can't be used, like a deep stab wound or a gunshot. Pack the wound first with gauze. And if you notice, I am shoving my fingers right into this wound. And then I'm going to pull the gauze out. I'm going to look in the wound, find out where it's bleeding from there. I see the bleeder right there. And now using a t-shirt or first aid gauze, or the sea lock scars, I'm going to pack the wound. So I'm going to move my finger as necessary to put the packing in. And then I put my hands in a CPR position and I put my full body weight on it. Now if you're using regular gauze or a t-shirt, I keep my full body weight on it until the paramedics arrived. Their hope is alongside your first aid kit, you will also carry a Stop the Bleeding kit. A recent study showed that 2,400 Canadians are estimated to bleed to death this year, not from van attacks on Young Street or terrorism, but from everyday events, car crashes, that type of thing, uh, workplace incidents. So it's always been needed, uh, but perhaps more so than ever. Terrorism has become part of our life, and we're actually teaching uh, programs like Run, Hide, Fight. What do you do if your office or school is under attack? And then Stop the Bleed is part of mitigating the result. Having people understand these techni techniques will keep somebody alive until the medics get there. To find out more about these Stop the Bleed Canada courses, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Markham, Audra Brown, City News.